Cheers, um, although it's 10.15, I think you know how this works if you're seeing us. Welcome to your pre-celebration connection with Bruce and... Jordan. Good morning, guys. Uh, we're, we've got jackets on today. It's a little chilly got here, the but... the AC going in here. Yeah. yeah, pretty sure it's not 50 degrees this time. Though. <laughs> think we're safe well welcome if you're tuning in right now and you're wondering is church starting is it not it is not we are here 15 minutes each uh, before each Sunday service to get you guys connected get you connected to each other with other Christ-like believers online we want you to know that there are real people here real Christians that want to do life with you and you're not alone church is not just something we stare at on a screen church is something we do as a group and as people and um, other than that though we do have a few things One Love is about, though. Exactly. Jordan? So if this is your first time joining us, we want you to know these most important things about One Love. We're a non-denominational church. We study the Bible line by line. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and grab yours. You're going to want it handy. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you can, when you can, we have two locations on Oahu, mm -hmm. our Kaka'ako campus and our Windward campus. We would love to see you there in person. If you are not on island with us, we super duper encourage you to go ahead and get involved in a church that's local to you so you can actually get plugged in physically there when the time is right. But while you continue to join us online, we are so glad that you are here. Go ahead and check out our website at onelove.org, explore that, mm -hmm. and then ask any questions that you have right here in the chat. So whether you are watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or on our stream, we have yep, hosts in those three. chats. Those look like they're the ones who have host by their name. So that's like Jen Jen and CC. You're going to see them in there. Um, they would love to answer any questions you have and also get you connected to prayer if you need that. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know where you're tuning in from this morning. We would love to talk to you this morning. Um, this is kind of like our virtual coffee time yes. with you. You have your coffee. We have ours. But this is our time to bump into other believers and chit-chat about how your life is going. So go mm -hmm. ahead and tune in. Good morning already to Valerie. Good morning. It's so Valerie's good. back on. I know. Thanks for joining awesome. us again. We're glad you're here. Ellie, good morning. Thank you for being with us as well. We're so glad you guys are here. So go ahead, and if you're with us, go ahead and drop your name and mm. say hello, aloha in the chat. We're so glad that you're here. Yeah, maybe we'll do that one this time instead of a different language. Let's see how many of you guys will say aloha this morning in the chat. That's going to be your warm-up little tune up the fingers there. Let's give a big aloha out there uh, wherever you are. I know earlier we had Alaska earlier. Yes. Alaska. We had Alaska earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we might have some people in Europe. Let's, you guys on there? Europe? Let us know. Europe, we want to see where you're tuning in from. Or I would say good evening, <laughs> good night. <laughs> We're not good with time zones, so yeah. just say hello. All right, everybody. Every week, Bruce and I discuss mm -hmm. a different topic. Talking, yep. And it's a, it's a conversation starter for you as well, because we mm -hmm. want to know how things are going in your life and how you're connecting as the body of Christ and how you're growing in that. So today, we're going to be discussing identity. Yes. Who you are, how God made you, and what that means to be a, um, part of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so, to start that question rolling, mm -hmm. my favorite prompt. Yeah. I love this. I'm sorry. It's just, it's so great. As a fun way to kick off kind of who are you and how do you relate to the world. Or what you are. Or what, what you are. what you are. Bruce That's knows. He already smells my question. Mm -hmm. um, but my question is, for you and for Bruce, mm -hmm. is if you were a kitchen appliance, what would you be and, and why? why? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's for you guys. If you were a kitchen appliance, what would you be and why? But Bruce is going to take it away. Yeah, this was fun because we did do this earlier and we found out we are, we think we're the same appliance. <laughs> we do, yes. Yeah, which is shocking that we would be in the same category. Uh, but I came up and we came up with being a blender. But funny th for different reasons though. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for myself, it's, uh, it's because, you know, life, things happen, get thrown into a blender, crazy things happen, but good things come out of it, like an awesome smoothie with peanut yes. butter yes. and strawberries and blueberries almond milk you know things like that yes yeah uh, none of that green stuff though uh but so in talking it out i think i'm kind of like a blender because when all that happens for me i can don't um don't read me wrong i don't <laughs> like to but i can and i operate well in chaos uh, when there's mm -hmm. chaos, I have the ability to, okay, I'm going to focus on what is necessary, what is needed, or maybe to be safe, but come out with something great through the chaos. And I kind of, in a strange way, like that, or at least should say I operate well in that. Uh, so kind of like a blender. Kind of like a blender. Yeah. I love it. So Bruce is a blender. Mm -hmm. Earlier, we heard things like oven, toaster, mixer. Toaster. So what? I know, I know it's a silly question, but <laughs> roll with me here. What 
uh, appliance yep. makes you think of the role that you play in the world. And so I think I'm a blender too yeah. because... Um, I, I go really intense and really short bursts. Like a blender would burn <laughs> out if you left it. or off. <laughs> that's, that's it. There's literally two modes. I know. It's, it's intense or off. Um, you don't leave a blender running all day on low. That doesn't no. make any sense. Yeah, you're going to burn out the motor, which I've done to a blender, by the way. I was very bummed. I was like... <laughs> You saw yourself in that. Yes, no. I okay. did. I was like, I've got to turn myself off. I've got to take more naps. That's what it's <laughs> got to be. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I identify with blender. And then I, I mix things up, too. I, <laughs> okay. I cannot leave anything you can't alone. Leave alone. I can't. Oh, okay. I can't. I must, like, break things down to their smallest parts. <laughs> I, Which is pretty much what you're doing with a blender. Exactly. So that's why I feel like I am a blender. So go <laughs> ahead, you guys. Let us know. Which kitchen appliance would you be and why? We're dying mm -hmm. to know. And we're trying to get the whole kitchen assembled here. Yes. Because but why? But why? Because we are all different. We all play different roles. Yes, Bruce and I are both blenders, but no kitchen even <laughs> needs two blenders. Right? Which is why we're not married. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. we don't need two blenders. So speaking of, okay, so I think I'm married to a crock pot. Mm-hmm. Um, which I'm, which I love. Wait, are you calling him, calling him a crock? I'm calling no? him a crock pot, baby, in, in the most loving way. Okay. But just that his intensity is much slower. Mm -hmm. And like the, the kind where like you go and check a crock pot during the day and you're like, is this even on? And like you got to check the plug. <laughs> is anything happening? Whereas like a blender, you know if it's on or not. You're like, oh, the blender's on. Like you, but the crock pot, you kind of like you pat the sides but and see if it's But at the hot. end of the day, when dinner comes, you're very thrilled that you have a delicious pork roast that's yes, done. Exactly. It is awesome. So, who do you think you're married to? What kitchen appliance? Oh, you didn't prep me with that one. Well, she answered earlier. That's <laughs> She's more in the vein of a, of a, I'm gonna say an Instapot. Instant. Okay. All right. Because okay. it can go either way. Uh, when there's a, a short time, she can take, um, so speaking of my wife, yes. Uh, <laughs> Switching gears. She can be the Instapot, the Insta action, and it's time for dinner, here it is, yummy, okay, eat, you're fed. Yes. Or she can put in something that, um, the first thing we ever did in our Instapot was this salsa chicken thing, where I think what? she got two ingredients, chicken, frozen, throw it in there because you're kind of in a rush, salsa, turn it on, and it cooked for a couple hours. And then when we came back to eat, it was amazing. Oh, so I think okay. she's more the Instapot because she likes the instant side when we got kids, we got homeschool. So, yes. hey, eat, you're done. Or let it cook for two hours. Yes. So I'm going to say an Instapot. Okay, I love that. So Bruce is a blender married to an Instant Pot. If you're just Which joining works. us, bear with us on <laughs> us talking about um, how we relate to a kitchen appliance yep. and how that might indicate how we um, take our place in the world and in the body mm -hmm. of Christ. So I'm going to read a couple of these answers really quick. Ellie, thank you. She says Instant Pot as well. Okay. Um, I turn on and it cooks quick and fast. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Up and at them. Feet hit the floor and you're going. I love it. Um, and then Jen said that she's married to a pressure cooker as well. There you go. I gotta <laughs> love these pressure cookers. I'm so glad somebody's making dinner yes. while Bruce and I are over here like yeah. smoothie crazy because we can't <laughs> wait. Um, that's awesome. So go ahead and continue to answer that question if you'd like. If you're just joining us, mm -hmm. you're wondering what in the world we're doing. Bruce, what do they need to know? Well then, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Church Semi Online. Uh, you are tuned into One Love Ministries. And no, this is not church just yet. We are your pre-celebration connection. This is Jordan, and my name is Bruce. And we're here 15 minutes before each Sunday service to say hi, get a little warmed up because we want you guys to know that there are other Christ-like believers online spread out here in our One Love community. Church is not just what we turn on and turn off, but we have people out there that want to get to know you or hopefully you want to get to know and build that relationship. We are a body, as we're talking about different appliances, we're kind of applying that to how we are different uh, parts of the body in Christ. We want you guys to know that feel that and get to know each other and remember when we tune out at the end of service uh, today this continues as we now have live zoom small groups after service so your connection can continue but for now we want to con get connected with you get you warmed up talk to us online exactly so thank you so much for joining us go ahead and introduce yourself and today we're talking about identity so go ahead and throw in the chat what kitchen appliance you would be mm -hmm. and why mm -hmm. we would love to know we're trying to amass the whole kitchen so <laughs> i don't think i've seen a refrigerator yet or some other interesting nobody wants thing. to admit how cold they are yeah, yeah no is anybody know, cold no. we have any real <laughs> ovens you know let me know let yeah, me know i want to know maybe? 
So why this is important mm -hmm. is because each one of us was made different yes. for a different function Thankfully. in the world and in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So Bruce, what does it mean to have a different identity in the body of Christ? Yeah, it's, it's great when you go through different parts of the Bible and you see this play out. Uh, there's great verses in um, Ephesians and Corinthians about being the body of Christ, serving the body of Christ. But as you look throughout, God uses so many different things types of bodies yes. thankfully you have the the warriors the fighters and then you have the people that are like why are you putting them in the bible um like david the shepherd right? yeah he's like i look at but sheep, as man. their stories play out god yes. uses every one of them in great ways whether it's by themselves mm -hmm. or in tandem with other people other parts of the body so your identity is so important whether you know it or not recognize it or not or understand it or not as believers, we identify with that God made us a unique way and might not know why now or maybe it doesn't seem to fit right now, but it will, it does, and God does great things with all parts of the kitchen as well as <laughs> parts of the body. And it's yes. amazing the way He created us to be that. We can all get better at it. We can, uh, you know, upgrade and uh, improve and learn, but you are made a certain way for a great reason. Yes, exactly. Mm. So today we're paralleling kitchen appliances with the body of Christ, how sure. we all have a different function. <laughs> so I encourage you to think about where God has placed you and what he's made you to do mm -hmm. in the body of Christ and why that's special and unique and different mm -hmm. for good reasons, because that's the way he made us. Exactly. And you know what, speaking of making us, us. Um, trying to segue into Jen here. It's Jen's oh, birthday. Right. <laughs> she was made. Uh, she was made. Just there a few, go. just a few years ago. Jen, Jen on the chat there. I was trying to come up for a way without saying how old you are. So if you want to put it in there, Jen, go ahead. But it's a uh, happy birthday, Jen Young time on the chat there. Happy birthday, Jen. So if anybody wants to chime on there and just say happy birthday, Jen, or happy birthday, Jen, Jen, go for it. Um, she might be a little older than 21, but I'm not sure how it much It might more. be her 21st birthday. Again? I that. Again. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Jen. Jen. Thank you for, love you for the support. So throw that in the chat. She's one of our hosts on there, so that's why we're going to see her every single week there. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to segue into our last question, and this okay. is for you as well, no matter what kitchen appliance you are. <laughs> My question is, what is a trait that you admire in others? Yes. So you guys As too. an appliance or just as a trait? I'll just, I'll go more general, just as a trait. Like, more, what's yeah. a, what is something about somebody else that mm -hmm. you find yourself admiring? Um, well, I, actually, I'll answer both. One is the slow cookers. I love that because <laughs> I don't have the patience for it. I, I tried to sm uh, smoke a turkey a couple of Thanksgivings ago. <laughs> and by, the th by the time 4 o'clock rolled around, we had the oven on and the turkey was in there because it didn't work out <laughs> too well. Not the smoker So anymore. you slow cookers that can look ahead and plan and enjoy that process of what's coming at the mm -hmm. end, whether it's in a day, a week, a whole season of life. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. But I love, um, I'll put an, another one lover out there, uh, Matt Wigley, uh, our worship leader. You guys sing along with him. Um, he does our men's group and some of you guys have you know, done counseling with him and so on. But I love that he loves talking about um, talking about God, talking about Christ, not just at church, mm -hmm. but, and he loves talking about what he read. Like, it yeah. isn't like I read and now it's off to the side and I'm done. Yes. He loves coming in and we'll talk and, and he, he'll bring things up like, hey, you know what I just read? Mm -hmm. Dot, 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 dot. And I'm like, I don't do that very often and I should. So I, ah, if it's something mm -hmm. I admire, I admire somebody that not only loves God, it talks about God, but we'll just talk about it. Yeah. That's awesome. Like it's a normal conversation. I love that. And it's awesome. That's good. So if you have any traits that you admire in other believers, mm -hmm. go ahead and throw them in the chat. We're wondering what you guys look for and what impresses you about other people in the body of Christ. Yes. I'm going to throw mine out there real quick. Mine is definitely creativity. I Ooh. admire people that have an artistic mm -hmm. bent because I just don't. I, like I say, I, I can do a stick figure and I can carry a tune stick in a bucket. Figures but it's very mediocre. So people who can like raise the level artistically, I So singing worship with the mask on is, is kind of a good yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Right. So guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for playing along with my kitchen appliance game. We're so glad that you've joined us for the pre-celebration connection. Yes. I'm Jordan. And I'm Bruce. Good morning, guys. Get ready. Get your book of Mark out. Uh, we have Pastor Duke today. We're going to finish out chapter 11 and learn some fantastic things. So have a great morning. Be blessed. Aloha. Aloha.